So, Robbery, the upcoming DLC for Battlefield Hardline. We got our first look at the map called Museum a couple of weeks ago when Visceral were at Gamescom, and just a couple of days ago we were given a chance to see the second map, called The Docks. I've already had a chance to play around on this map, and all four maps in the DLC actually, but that was a few months ago and well, the docks has changed a bit since then so I can't really pull any info from my experiences there, but we do know a little bit about this map now, and I have some more info about upcoming features as well. So, the docks. The map is based off the Oakland port, which is across the bay from San Francisco and Redwood Shores, where Battlefield Hardline is actually developed by Visceral. The map is going to give a lot of different locations to play, as you can see from the footage behind. We have a cargo area out in the centre full of crates, which I'm sure will remind you a lot of Noshar Canals from Battlefield 3, and indeed the centre part does look to offer lots of different alleyways and routes that you can take. It might make TDM very interesting. Along with that, you have full access to the giant cargo ship, which is moored at the edge of the dock as well. And this is where the new game mode Squad Heist, the 5v5 variant of Heist, is going to take place on this map. The map does also support all other game modes, so Conquest, Hotwire, Blood Money, etc. All of them will be on there. And another section of the map is the surrounding buildings, and these can be entered as well, and they offered like a mirrored look of the map. So you've got the ship on one side, the buildings on the other, and the cargo in the middle. Now, about these containers, according to the development team, they are makeshift and can be toppled over and will come crashing to the ground. And all it takes is just one bullet, apparently, to initiate that sequence. Sounds pretty interesting to me and will certainly be a way to combat the high level snipers who happen to have taken refuge up there. The map will have a scout chopper as well, so there's going to be counters to camping on top of those crates rather than just having to reduce them to the ground with what essentially is going to be the levolution on this map. Nothing is mentioned about the cranes being destructible though, which might make having control of the skies in your chopper a very valuable asset to have. There might not be any other way to get to those snipers up there. And on top of that, it looks as if we get to see one of the new vehicles here in this screenshot. The DLC does come with two new faction specific vehicles and this one looks like a reinforced muscle or flatbed car of some sort and if I were to hazard a guess, not that it's particularly hard to figure out, but I'd say this is the criminal faction vehicle as the car doesn't sport any police paintwork. Moving on from the docks, it seems one of the super features to be included in the Battlefield Hardline Premium program is being released with robbery legendary status. This will give you the ability to reset your stats, but be given the rank of Legendary 1, which scales all the way up to 15. You lose all your weapons, attachments and gadgets, and you have to restart the process of unlocking them all over again. But you won't lose access to certain other items like camos you've purchased with in-game cash, and you'll get a different kill card to show other players you've leveled up to Legendary. With each legendary status you unlock, you'll earn slightly more in-game cash than you would have done before, which makes it a little bit easier to get your favourite stuff back. Now I'm not really too sure what to make of the legendary feature. Uh, the fact that you have to get to level 150 in the first place might actually be a huge amount of effort for a lot of people who play this game, and I don't really know what it offers because I know Battlefield 3 had stat reset and that wasn't a massive feature for me because that's basically what legendary status is apart from it offers you a little bit more than what it did in previous games so not really sure how this is going to work out and I don't know how many people are actually going to be able to utilize it all that much. And finally for robbery related news two other maps have not yet been revealed for the DLC and there's no info on them either other than this the names Precinct 7 and Breakpoint and the confirmation from Thad Sasser, who's the creative director at Visceral Games now, that one of the maps will be a snow map. I'm sure we'll get more details soon, so stay tuned. And just one other thing that I quickly want to mention, I know that the CTE clients for Battlefield 4 are never that popular unless new updates are coming out, but I figured as hell that <laughs> Battlefield Hardline 
isn't doing the best that it probably could on PC that maybe not a lot of people are aware that the CTE client is being regularly updated and right now they're testing a new game mode called Pure Hotwire which basically removes all explosives from the game and just leaves the objective cars and transport cars in there and then all you've got to do is fight it out to see who wins. So you can only really take down cars with your weapons, which is how I think Hotwire should have been when it first came out anyway. I was never really a fan of having explosives in that mode or as many as there are right now. It just doesn't make it all that enjoyable. So if you do want to go and test it and you are a premium member, I think on console or PC, and you've got a PC capable of running Battlefield Hardline, then you can download the CTE client and they do some playtests every now and again, and maybe you could give it a go and give them some feedback. But thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me a thumbs up down below if you did, and a comment as well. They are always appreciated. Let me know what you think about the robbery DLC for Battlefield Hardline. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.